Hi guys, this is H Sema and today we're gonna do another cosplay wig together. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know what it is. I'm going to teach you how to transform a no bangs wig into a wig with bangs. And on top of that, we're going to do the hime cut or a princess cut. This cut involves bangs and then another layer next to the cheek. Many other characters have the same haircut like Maria Kurenai from Vampire Night. However, with the same technique, you can learn how to do other characters that also have blood cut bangs. Do you recognize any of these characters? Have you cosplayed them? Anyways, let's go back to the tutorial. As you can see, this wig has no bangs, but the skin top goes all the way to the front. It's very important that your wig has good quality and has skin top. The skin top is like a sheet made of plastic mimicking the scalp. You can divide your wig anywhere within the skin top area, but beware of the limits. If you divide at the end of the skin top, you're gonna see the tracks. So to make our bangs, we're going to divide the hair in the front, but not taking to the end of the skin top area. Like I said, if you do, we're going to be able to see the tracks and that's not what you want. You want to divide a little bit before so the extra hair will cover the tracks. That way it will look a lot more natural and you will see in a second. But before we cut, we need to put the hair on the right position. As you can see, the whole front of the wig is divided in the middle and we're gonna comb it all down. So with the help of a rubber band, you're going to separate as much as hair as you want for your bangs. And with the help of your blow dryer, you're going to melt a little bit of the hair, just enough to keep it in place. To make it faster also helps if you use an ice cube. The wig only takes form after it's cooled down. It doesn't take long for the wig to take a new shape, but maybe you would have to repeat it two or three times. Now it's time to cut the bangs and make sure that you're saving the extra hair. If you speak Portuguese, I have already done a video of how to use this extra hair, but if you don't, just wait a little bit because I'm gonna make the new video in English. I know it looks kind of crooked, but it's just that my wig head is on a pillow. Trust me, it is straight. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to do the hime cut right now. We need to separate a bit of the hair starting from the tip of the bangs and ending on the top part of the ear. It has to be diagonal so it will be more natural. And to make sure I don't lose any hair, I'm going to secure them on rubber bands. Now it's time for us to cut. There is no mystery here, it's just that my elbow totally, totally covered the entire shot. And now we need to fray the hair a little bit. I am using this Dollar Tree um, pet scissors, but if you live in Brazil, you can watch my other video, full technique in Portuguese, of how to cut wigs. I also have a playlist. So now you have the basic shape. I always, always cut longer than I need, and then I will shorten up as I need it. And also from here, we need to straighten up the hime cut that is going to, you know, some crazy sides because of the way that I folded my wig. Usually, I would cut my wig at the wig block, but I think that most people don't have one, so my advice is that you wear your wig so you can see whatever the length you want it to be cut. Traditionally, the hime cut, or princess cut, has a longer length. It was created at the Heian period and has evolved into the modern versions that we have right now. On Lolita hairstyles, for example, you will find lengths variating from the collarbones until the cheeks. And that is exactly the same hairstyle that Yumeko has. If you guys want, I can do a whole video just for different Lolita hairstyles. Just let me know in the comments. For Yumiko specifically, her hairstyle is a little bit diagonal. It is very easy to cut. You just have to hold it in place. Do not pull your wig. Don't pull it. If you don't have a steady hand, here's a tip. You can tape it. Tape all the hair on the place so it will be straight and then you cut on the tape. And for the bangs, I put the hime cut behind my ears 
and I'm going to shorten up the bangs the same way. And by the way, I also saved this hair that I cut off the bangs. I'm going to teach you how to use this to create fake beard. <laughs> Now we are ready to fix the bangs and the hemi cut. There are two ways that you can fix your bangs. The first one is with a hair dryer and a brush. With the brush, you're going to hold the hair in the position that you want the hair to be and then blow dry it in hot. I couldn't find my brush here, so I'm just using my comb to show you how to do it. <laughs> Or you can even do by hand if you don't have anything, just don't use bobby pins. And the second method, of course, is the hair straightener. It is also very simple, you just have to run the hair straightener through your hair and end with a little curve. Just pay attention for the temperature and make sure that your wig is heat proof. If it's not, you have to use the blow dryer method. Just a few more final touches and you're done. And like I said, the Hime cut has different lengths. Sometimes you're going to do shorter or longer for a different character, but basically this is the technique. Sometimes the Hime cut can be very thick, but Yumeko has her very, very light and fray. Anyways, these are all the tips I have for today. If I have inspired you to style your wig at home, please tag me so I can see. Use hashtag HSummerBlog anywhere you liked and I will see it. And remember, this is one video from my series. If you'd like to learn how to make this full cosplay at your house, please check all my other videos. Give me a thumbs up if you liked, give me a thumbs down if you didn't, and let me know in the comments what are your thoughts and what would you like me to do on the next video. Bye bye!